In this video, I'll show you how to auto-translate subtitles using Olama in Subtitle Edit. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, this might be a lengthy video because it involves the process of downloading and installing Olama and every code execution that you might need to do before you use Olama in Subtitle Edit to automatically translate subtitles into different languages. So take a note of that and let's begin. I'll leave any link I mentioned in the description below. So this is Olama and it's an addition in Subtitle Edit, in Subtitle Edit version 4.0.5. So uh, it's available for Mac, uh, Linux and Windows. I'm not sure what the preview means, uh, but we're going to download it uh, right now. Let's click on the download, download preview, and let's wait for it to download and some of the sections I'll kind of speed up so that we don't actually waste a lot of time uh, looking at my screen. Uh, for example, the modules are really big. Uh, they're about four gigabytes uh, so that uh, some of those sections I might have to speed up uh, to kind of uh, save you all this agony of actually uh, seeing what is going on. So uh, the installation setup is about 213 megabytes. So Let's wait for that. And there's a GitHub page for all this uh, where the different uh, setups uh, are in there. So you can see the different uh, models, Llama 2, Mistral, Gemma, and other uh, language models. And you can see uh, some of the few things that you can do with uh, all these model libraries, how you can customize the models and so on and so forth. Now, our download is done. I'll just click on it. Uh, Olamba Windows Preview. Let's get you up and running with your own large language models. Click install to continue with the installation. I'll click on that. And more or less, this is where it's going uh, in my computer. So we give it a couple of minutes or seconds, uh, if that is what it takes. And then once it's done, uh, we'll need to obviously uh, run it and so on and so forth. But let's give it a couple of seconds here. So there we go. It's done. It is, it's installed. Uh, let us see. Olama. If I click on that, what do we get? It's my first time doing this, so uh, it's nothing rehearsed here. So it's as it happens in real time. Uh, so I've just opened it up. And yeah, it's somewhere here. So you can view logs and so on and so forth. Now. Let's go back to the official Olama page. Now, once that is installed and I'm running it somewhere here, next up we need to download a language model. We've got Llama 2, Code Llama, and other models. Now, let me click uh, on Llama 2 and see what we get. So, Llama 2 is a collection of foundation language models ranging from 7B to 70B parameters. Not really sure what that means. But I know that this particular model is about 3.8 GB. Now, to run this model, you need to copy this code and run it uh, on a, a command prompt. That is a CMD uh, on Windows. So let's go for command. And I'll just paste in the code that I just copied. This particular code here. If you click on it, it copies. If you come to your terminal here with Olama running somewhere here let's paste it in and press on enter it's pulling the manifest and it's checking what is available now you can see what it starts doing it starts downloading uh, the uh, this particular file size now uh, probably there's an issue with my internet speed because uh, it's reading something ridiculous here okay uh, it was saying 99 hours but now we're down to almost something like 10 11 minutes so it should be more or less something of that sort uh, to download this huge file, which is the model Llama 2. So just take a note of that. Llama 2 is quite large. It's going to take you some time before it's done. So I'm going to let this run for a while and I'm actually going to speed it up in the video. So you will actually see like it's just taken a couple of seconds to avoid wasting a lot of time. And then we get back to when everything is done. So uh, just enjoy these couple of seconds and I'll see you in a few.
as you can see, uh, Llama 2 is almost done downloading, a couple of seconds remaining, and that's a 3.8 gigabyte file downloaded in about 10 minutes. Some of you have better internet connections as, uh, and some don't, so you'd rather take note that it takes a while. So once it's done, it's going to do a uh, few more extra things here. So let's wait for it and see what we get uh, at the end of this. So here we go. Just a couple of extra files, I believe, uh, that we need uh, for everything to work. And it's more or less the files that you see right here. So uh, verifying, writing, send message, uh, more or less. Uh, if we need help and so on and so forth. Now, I'm assuming I don't need to do anything else here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open subtitle edit. And when I open subtitle edit, I'm just going to get a video. Quickly auto translate it with audio to text via whisper. I'm going to use const me and click on generate. And once that is done, I'm going to go to the auto translate option here then click on auto translate. Once I do that, I'm going to go to uh, Olama local LL LLM. And from here, we got everything ready. And I'm going to use Llama 2. And then let's say we want to translate this text to Spanish. I don't know Spanish, but I'm hoping it's going to work. I'll click on translate. Please wait, this may take a while. Let's see what we get. Yeah, it's working. It's working. Uh, let's see if there's anything going on. Uh, there's nothing going on here, but since we all have everything already installed, there we go. Yep, it's working. What other languages does it support? Uh, uh, there's a ton of languages here, but I don't see. Um, let's see if we have, we don't have Swahili. Don't think we, we don't have Swahili, so I'd have tested it with a language that I can speak, but it's not available, but it's working. It's working and that is how you can download and install Olama and use it to automatically translate your subtitles into different languages. Uh, that's really, really awesome. Uh, let me see if I actually close out this particular command prompt window if it's going to work. So file, say new, I don't want to save. No, let's go to open video and have this going and then do the auto -trans uh, transcription and subtitling. There we go. Let's go to auto translate. We want to use Olama. Let's click on translate. Let's actually choose another language here. Let's say we go with something like maybe French. Let's click on translate. Please wait, this may take a while. Yep, it works. It works uh, with that closed, but Probably this needs to be running. You can view logs of what has been going on uh, at this time, and the server log, and everything that you've been doing. Uh, yeah, so everything looks like that. And uh, I hope that this helps somebody who's looking to download and install Olama uh, to use it for auto translation. In subtitle edit, I've walked you through the process of downloading Olama, installing it, and making sure that it's running, because I believe it should be running uh, when you want to use it. And then installing uh, the Llama 2 model, which is about a four gigabyte file, uh, using a command prompt, just copying this particular code, pasting it there, and everything is automatic. And then once uh, using it is just simple once everything is installed. So that's it for this video. I hope it's of value to you. Thank you so much for watching.